Hey, it's Jacob. Every day we bring you guys the best videos around. And today we are honoring Rihanna, debunking gravity, space tantrum, and walking the blue carpet with John Green. Hold on, I have to video blog really quickly. Ah, no! The point is to be audacious, even jaw dropping or button pushing. And yes, we know she enjoys pushing buttons. This is Anna Wintour. She's presenting Rihanna with the Style Icon Award at what's basically the Oscars of fashion. Rihanna's speech has gotten over a million views in just one day, and this comes after the recent controversy surrounding Instagram removing one of Riri's topless photos, so it seems pretty clear why she chose to wear this dress to the ceremony on Monday. Fashion has always been my defense mechanism. Even as a child, I remember thinking, she could beat me, but she cannot beat my outfit. Rihanna ended up deleting her Instagram account, and then she tweeted her support for the Free the Nipple campaign just after Scout Willis's topless walk through New York City last week. This campaign continues a really important conversation right now about how we view women's bodies, and Carly put together a really great playlist for you after the show. I'd like to introduce you to my new theme song. Just waking up from the late night death match screen still shows the score from my dispatch. Two Snapchats for me, take a pee, check Twitter, Tumblr, FB, the big three. Eat breakfast only back in the ham. Saw that I was tagged in this fly girl's Instagram. That's right, it's Ice Cube's classic updated for the digital world. ADHD crushes it by correctly using every possible internet reference while honoring the original. New videos post every Monday to their channel. Now if you'll excuse me. The unlikely story of how Douglas Gatrod's mom came to own a motorcycle is one of the biggest videos of the day, and for good reason. After revisiting the amazing accomplishments of his two grandfathers, Douglas sets out to try to experience life the way they had. And that was the biggest difference between what I was doing and what they did. I was concerned with having something, and they were concerned with giving something. So I decided my motorcycle was alive, and I told my mom I'd sell it, if I could make a profit. This video is actually a submission for the My Road Reel Film Festival. We put a link in the description for you. Click through and give it a vote. Ah, CinemaSins, a channel devoted to finding the most egregious errors in film, like Signs, The Sixth Sense, Unbreakable, basically any Shyamalan movie. This week, astrophysicist slash science god Neil deGrasse Tyson helps pick apart the Academy Award winning film Gravity, and it already has almost two million views after just a couple days. Why Bullock's hair in otherwise convincing zero-G scenes did not float freely on her head. Nearly all satellites orbit Earth west to east, yet all satellite debris portrayed orbited east to west. They release videos twice a week, so be sure to subscribe. My personal favorite is their analysis of the Harry Potter series. It's perfect for any wizard hater. All right, nerd fighters, the day has finally arrived. The Fault in Our Stars movie premieres tomorrow. Based on John Green's New York Times bestselling novel of the same name, the film's trailer debuted back in January. It is currently the most liked trailer in YouTube history. I can't tell you how thankful I am for our little infinity. The story was inspired by real-life logger Esther Earle, who lost her battle with thyroid cancer back in 2010. She's who the novel's dedicated to. The film had its premiere at the famous Ziegfeld Theater in New York this week. Of course, it wouldn't be a John Green event without a vlog. Instead of a red carpet, we have a Tipios blue carpet. How awesome is that? Okay, Hank, I just did all of those press interviews, and now I'm going to go into the movie. Look, 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 look. That's the movie. The film is already getting great reviews. You guys gonna see it? It was back in 1942 that I decided to make Tiki Bar TV. Of course, there was no internet at that point, so I said to myself, I'm going to invent internet. Someone has a problem. Dr. Tiki writes a prescription, and it somehow magically saves the day. There's only one man I know of that can help us out of this predicament. But Gus from accounting? All right, there's two people that can help us out of this predicament. We were in magazines, newspapers, and other irrelevant forms of physical media. What happened to Tiki Bar TV? It seems as though one day you just stopped making it. You're right. Just cherish what was, and what never has been, and who is a has-been. I'm a has-been. Well, I'll drink to that. Thanks, Doc. Fun fact, Steve Jobs actually used the clip of the show to debut the first video iPods back in 2005, and he turned Tiki Bar TV into an instant hit. Every Saturday, we dedicate our show just to one single topic, and this Saturday, we're focusing on unreal performance art like this. <laughs> what? If you've seen a performance that we need to know about, please post a link to it in the comments. Now to play us out, we have band. Just play the game your way.